All right. In question number two, we are going to be assessed on how to calculate the population density. Question two reads, the table below shows the population and land area in square miles of four counties in New York State at the turn of the century. Okay, so we have the table right here. The second column is the population and the third column is the land area. Question, which county had the greatest population density? So not only are we finding the population density of these four uh, counties, we are also comparing them to see which is the greatest. Now before we get started, we are going to take a look at what the formula for computing a population density is. Alright, so your formula is as follows. Population density, the, um, let's write that down. Population density is given by is given by the population divided by area okay so that's how you do it we're going to carry out this quotient computation four times in order to know what the population density of the four counties are all right so let's make ourselves a nice little table so we can have our work nicely organized um, so in the first column we are going to place the location or the county and then on the second column we're going to calculate the population uh, density by computing the quotient of the population the population divided by the area all right we're gonna use a calculator to help us out with this one so population density is population divided by area okay so let's get started with um, Broome County so for Broome County the population is 200,536 that's the population so we're gonna divide that by the area which is 706.82 alrighty let's fire up our calculators and carry out the calculation so we have Two zero zero five three six divided by seven oh six point eight two. Enter. We have two eighty seven two eighty three point seven two. Okay, so let's write that down. Two eighty three point seven two. All right. Next, we're going to calculate the population density of the next location which is Duchess um, let's write that down for Duchess we have the population 280,150 divided by um, 801.59 let's calculate that so we have 280 one five zero divided by eight oh one point five nine and we get the population density of three forty nine point four nine. Let me just check my work again. Two eight zero one five zero eight oh one five nine. Okay. So it's three forty nine point four nine. Three forty nine point four nine. Alright, so now let's take a look at the um, population density for the next county, which is Niagara. Niagara. So when, for this county, we have 219,846 for the population. Divide that by the area, which is 522.95. Um, put that in our calculators and see what we get so we have two hundred nineteen thousand eight forty six for population divided by five twenty two point nine five for the area of that county 
and that gives us um, 420.40, uh, 420.40. All right, last one is Saratoga. So what is the population density here? The population is 200,635 divided by the area, 811. 0.84 okay we're gonna divide that with our calculators again we have 200,635 divided by the area 811.84 and that gives us 247.14 247.14 Okay, so the question again uh, was which one has the greatest population density? So we're looking for the biggest one, uh, the biggest answer, and the biggest answer is 420, Niagara. Okay, so uh, answer to question number two is option number three. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. We'd like to know what you think. Um, if you found the contents of this presentation helpful to your preparation for the upcoming Regents exam, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is extremely important to us. If you have any questions or comments, just post it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to respond. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel so you can get updates to um, the remainder of this review series and other great math tutorials to help you do well in your math courses. And for more support resources, do visit our website at mathgotserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.